guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Adeline and I am the creator of Not So Basic Life, which is a platform that inspires and empowers millennials to create a life they love on their own terms. The Not So Basic Life is essentially where travel, lifestyle and business Collide. Anyways, today's video is quite basic, you know, with the basic backdrop, there's no beach, there's no beach club whatsoever, just a nice sit down little chat with my good old cuppa, um, can we take a moment and appreciate how amazing this mug is. Today I'll be talking about how to build a flexible lifestyle business that allows you to work online and travel around the world without being a travel influencer or posing in your bikini. So what I'm trying to do with this video is to show you guys, um, what are the practical ways out there that you too can make a living online without having to put on a bikini. That could also be an option for you when you start working by the beach or with your own private villa, but bikini is optional. Okay, so just to kind of break it down into a couple layers, this one is to be able to work and travel online. Work that you're doing has to be location independent, so you don't have to physically be at your office or be with your clients and there are three different ways that you're able to do that number one is be a freelancer so you're operating as a sole trader or as a company and in Australia that means that you would need to have your own ABN the second way to do so is to look for and apply for remote work you'd be surprised that there are quite a few big um, tech companies especially in the United States that starts offering remote positions um, there are a couple of website that allows you to look for jobs like that. There's one that I can remember at the top of my head, I think it's called WorkU, but I'll link all the remote job boards down in the description box below. And the third way of being able to be location independent is to be your own boss and run your own business. So you can either run a fully online based business or you're able to slowly remove yourself out of your business and eventually be location independent. So yeah, that's three different ways on how you're able to be location independent and start working online and travel the world and live that digital nomad life. Based on my personal experience, I would definitely advise you to probably be location independent in your home base for at least a couple of months to get used to working on your own before jumping on that digital nomad route. And one of the reasons for that is working for yourself is great, the flexibility is great, but you also need to have the motivation and discipline to do work when everyone else is having fun. It is amazing when your travel and business is a part of your lifestyle, but you gotta remember, especially when you're first starting out, there will be a lot of deadlines, there will be a lot of negotiation, especially if you're a freelancer. There's a lot of different factors that many people don't talk about. I suppose like the boring stuff or the not so fun stuff of being a digital nomad or living this flexible lifestyle. So um, to enable a smooth transition when you're working in a country or being a nomad, um, I think it is great to keep your day-to-day -day routine at your home base for at least a couple of months to get used to setting your own routine, setting your own timetable, setting your own system and work out what and how do you work best. So if you're looking to start designing and creating a lifestyle that you love on your own terms, don't forget to download your free copy of Dream to Reality Lifestyle Design Planner. I'll leave it down in the description box below. In the next couple of videos, I am going to um, share with you guys how can you get started with building an online business, whether as a freelancer or how do you build your online presence and personal brand to be able to look for remote work or how do you start your own online business. If you don't want to miss out any of these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on that little notification so that you get notified when my next video is up. And if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next video.